Deputy Sarakunial. Thanks, Chair. Please go on. It is said that absolute power does not come from an imposition from above, but by the choice of individuals who feel themselves more protected, renouncing their own freedom and granting it to a third party. With this in mind, you are going on anesthetizing the minds with corrupt mass media, with disinfectant and an LP, with words like regime, to allow and to permit, to the point of allowing you to regulate our emotional ties and feelings and certify our affections. So, in this way, phase two is nothing else than the continuation of phase one. You just changed the name as you did with the European Stability Mechanism. We understood that people don't die for the virus alone, so it will be allowed to die and suffer thanks to you and your laws for misery and poverty. And as in the best regime, the blame will be dropped only upon citizens. You take away our freedom, saying that it is our fault. Divide and rule. Our children will lose more. Rape the soul with the help of the so-called warrant of the rights and so on. The rights to school will be granted only with a bracelet to get them used to probation, slavery and to virtual lager in exchange for a skateboard and a tablet. All this to satisfy the appetites of a financial capitalism whose driving force is the conflict of interest, well represented by the WHO, whose main financer is the well-known philanthropist and savior of the world, Bill Gates. We all know this. Back in 2018, Bill Gates predicted a pandemic simulated in October 2019 at the Event 201, together with Davos Friends. For decades, Gates has been working on depopulation and dictatorial control plans on global politics, aiming to obtain the primacy on agriculture, technology and energy. Gates said, I quote from his speech, if we do a good job on vaccine, health and reproduction, we can reduce the world population by 10-15%. And again, only a genocide can save the world. With his vaccines, Gates managed to sterilize millions of women in Africa. He caused a polio epidemic that paralyzed 500,000 children in India. He causes more deaths than the disease itself, as well with his sterilizing GMO designed by Monsanto and generously donated to the needy populations. He is thinking about distributing the quantum tattoo for vaccination recognition and mRNA vaccine as tools for reprogramming our immune system. In addition, Gates does business with several corporations that own 5G facilities in the United States. So, with all of this, is the entire Italian deep state. Sanofi, together with Glaxo, friends of Ranieri Guerra, Ricciardi, and the well-known virologists that we pay 2,000 euro every 10 minutes for the presentation on television. He signed agreements with medical societies to indoctrinate future doctors, making fun of their own judgment and their oath. High-tech corporation like the Roman engineer, which is friend of the noble Mantuan, or bending spoons of Pisano, to control and manage our personal health data, in agreement with the European Agenda ID 2020, which uses mass vaccination to obtain a digital platform of digital ID, pushing on the transfer of data started by Renzi to IBM. In 2016, Renzi gave a plus 30% to Gates Global Fund. Aspen's friends, like the Saxon Colao, who, with his very expensive four pages report, without scientific review, dictates his policies as a Bilderberg general, far away from the battlefield. But the list is very long. There is also Mediatronic by Arcuri and so on. The Italian contribution to the International Alliance against COVID-19 will be 140 millions of euros, of which 120 millions 
to Gavai Alliance. This is just a part of the 7.4 billion found by EU to find a vaccine against COVID-19, which will be used, as I said before. No money for serotherapy, which is super cheap. Nothing as well for a real prevention, which includes our lifestyle, food and relationship with the environment. The real goal of all of this is total control, absolute domination of human beings transformed into guinea pigs and slaves, violating sovereignty and free will. All this thanks to your tricks disguised as political compromise while you rip up the Nuremberg Code with force, fines and deportation, facial recognition and intimidation endorsed by dogmaticism, protected by our multi-president of the Republic, who is the real cultural epidemic of this country. Country. We outside with the people will multiply the fires of resistance in a way that you won't be able to repress all of us. Chair, I ask, fellow members, fellow members, this is a free parliament in which anyone has the right to express his opinion and everyone must respect them. If you disagree with it, you can speak later. Enough. Please go on. Chair, please, be the spokesperson to give an advice to our President Conte. Dear President Conte, next time you will receive a phone call from the philanthropist Bill Gates, forward it directly to the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity. If you want, tell us how we shall define you, the friend lawyer who takes order from a criminal. Thank you. Sottotitoli e doppiaggio, Carlo F.